Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here, full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. We have got a PayPal request through from Jörg Hanneman. I'm gonna read out his message here. Hello, Andrew. My PayPal request is for the drummer Cl <laughs> Clegg. <laughs> Well, I think I'm just giddy with excitement on this one. My PayPal request is about the drummer Clay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit excited. I haven't even topped up my coffee yet, I'm telling you. My PayPal request is about the drummer Craig Blundell and his performance on the concert. Stephen Wilson live from Royal Albert Year yeah, of the... Oh, man, I'm... I'm a little bit flustered here. It's like first date kind of stuff. Live from Royal Albert Hall of the year 2018. I love his drums very much on that concert and think that especially Ancestral is one of the best live performances I've ever seen. Insane drums, hi-hat and percussion are really great and also all other mus musicians are incredible. Bass, guitar, solo, etc. The song is very long, so you so. may need to jump a bit, but I think the whole track is a masterpiece. Please check this concert. I'd re recommend as well the songs Vermilion Core and The Sound of Muzak. However, not all are available on YouTube. I would love to see your comments, especially on Ancestral. Kind regards, Jörg. Jörg, thank you so much for this pick. Now, up until this point, we have featured uh, Craig Blundell. The first one I did was Home Invasion with Steve Wilson. Mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. Then we had Shadow of the Hierophant, which was him with Steve Hackett. I also did another video of me actually meeting Craig when he came to town and I went to one of the shows and more on that later. But with that said, Let's get to this pick from Jörg Hanneman, and it is Ancestral. It is Stephen Wilson live at Royal Albert Hall. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I just realized I was about to hit play, and I realized I'm not subscribed to Stephen Wilson. So I'm going to do that right now and correct that. Guys, original video link in the description of all my videos. Please do go along, support the artist. Let's hit it right now. Atmospheric. Reason never seems to come to guilty men. Things that meant so much mean nothing. Function is dysfunction unto hide the truth. Distracted by their faith, ignoring every proof. That drum entrance, really, really interesting style here. Seemingly, I'm not picking up all the lyrics, you know, it's a first time listen, but it seems like pretty introspective, thoughtful lyrics and really delicate uh, musicianship, gorgeous bass, um, keys, harmony, melody, interaction, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Listen to the drum entrance here. I often talk about this on the channel and I talk to my drum buddies about this, my other teacher friends and other drumming friends. 
You can hear a great drummer within a bar, a half a bar. You can tell this is a heavy, heavy player just from the drum entrance, how clean it is. The note placement, just, just go back a little bit. Just check this out. It's just beautiful. Little roll. Low dynamic. And hiding there amongst the wreckage left behind. They see things that are doing when they close their eyes. This butter. Those hands. Just while we're in this little, I guess, interlude section of the song, 13 minute song, wow. If you know of a better <laughs> snare backbeat sound than this, let me know. I think uh, Craig is one of the fellow, I believe he's one of the fellow Remo CS dot snare guys. Talked about the holy trinity of snare tones on the channel. They always seem to be a Remo CS. Who knows? Maybe it's not a Remo CS. We might get a better uh, drum cam footage of some of the gear at some point in this video. But that tone. And guys, although I sometimes feel like I can hear a CS dot and sometimes it's not the gear. It's not the gear. It's, uh, it's the drummer. Really pretty chords and melody, beautiful. A bicycle, a garden wall, a mother's car, a 
love is born And after all, sleep falls on me The lighting's amazing. What a venue. Seven here, are we? Precise. Done, crowd. That was illegal. Oh, this is interesting. A little bit of a 
performance arty here. Physically embodying the music. Five minutes later. Oh, I actually had to take a little minute after that to um, regather myself. I mean, so many things popping into my head at this point. Firstly, what a terrifying gig. What a terrifying gig. How many people in the world could do the Stephen Wilson gig hit me in the comments how many people in the world could do this gig 13 minute songs with extended solo vamps I sometimes call this the Nefertiti effect um, Nefertiti being a studio album by Miles Davis where basically on the the title the track Nefertiti from the album Nefertiti the band basically it's the whole song is basically a vamp of them playing a melody with Tony Williams just going ballistic blasting every polyrhythm <laughs> metric modulation you've ever heard underneath it uh, and that's sort of at points what we had here although there was other improvisation going on over the top as well but there were large chunks of this where it was a vehicle for Craig Blundell to just go crazy. But so controlled and so technically perfect and in the pocket. I said at the beginning, I uh, did a bit of a name drop and that I uh, was lucky enough to meet Craig Blundell when he came here with Steve Hackett. And I can unequivocally say now 
I have seen the best drummer I have ever seen live. You know, it's a, it's an impossible question to uh, answer. You know, who's the best drummer you've seen? But um, if I have to jump off the fence, the best drummer I've seen in person live was Craig Blundell. And I don't know if it comes through in this reaction, or um, just gonna, I'm just gonna put it out there that you know Craig Blundell might not even be a household name, even amongst drum people. Uh, one of the reasons for that being that he's, he's always on tour, <laughs> he's always playing these high end gigs. He doesn't really have time for um, I don't know social media type stuff probably because um, he's out there actually doing it. But man, seeing him live, man, it was crazy. If you do ever get the chance to see Craig Blundell live, I saw him with Steve Hackett and it was a complete game changer. I was shocked. My wife was with me. She's not a drum person at all other than, you know, casually enjoying drums like like a lot of people. She was just jaw dropped like, holy like seriously incredible anyway uh, i mean the other thing is they say don't meet your heroes right because uh you never know what you're going to encounter which is probably pretty fair advice in a lot of cases craig blundell widely known as one of the nicest people in the industry it's, it's an industry with a lot of nice people but craig blundell especially nice and a, especially sort of humble and welcoming when i met him and just yeah just a just a wonderful human being and a phenomenal drummer 1326 this performance captured absolutely beautifully it wasn't quite enough drum cam there for me but just beautiful now i guess getting into a little bit of style and analysis of craig blundell he is what we would probably call a drummer's drummer. He has multiple gears. You can hear he's a big practicer. You can you can just hear it. Some drummers sound great, but they don't necessarily sound like big practices. Uh, an example of that might be someone for me like Phil Rudd, who's one of my favorite drummers. So don't get me wrong on that. Phil, uh, Craig Blundell, Phil Rudd, two very, very different drummers. I'm not saying one's better than the other, what I'm saying is Phil Rudd sounds to me like he, like he, he's a player. He's someone who crafted what he does live. Dave Grohl, another one. He's just, he's kind of inside his own music and he just plays the perfect drum part for his music. And he doesn't feel like someone who diligently sits behind the drums and practices rudiments, for example, or doubles or hand technique. I get the feeling Craig Blundell is one of these people who probably did obsessively work on that stuff. And reason being, I guess our results are quite predictable in a way. And I mean, you could I stopped the video on the drum entry with that hi-hat roll to sort of bring in the groove. And it's like, you can hear it. There it is. It's right there. Now, look, it's... Bringing up people like Dave Grohl and Phil Rudd on someone else's video is probably not fair. And, uh, you know, and I've gotten a lot of stick for that before. People, oh, Phil Rudd or Dave Grohl. Oh, Ringo. Yeah. It's all about the intention and the, the goal of the song and the goal of the artist's song, right? Craig Blundell, perfect ensemble player. He's got this huge amount of facility that he can plug into an, a complicated artist like Stephen Wilson and oh we've got odd time, we've got a lot of dynamics, we've got long sections of odd time where I've got to sit out and I've got to know when to come back in and I'm playing with a click and I'm playing pad and I'm playing unusual sounds over here but I also need the ability to solo wildly and violently over a vamp. Yeah, I gotcha. Who can do this? Who can do this? I mean, the obvious comparison, Gavin Harrison, obviously. That upper tier, crazy, ridiculous, ah. spiritual guru, drum monk level drummer. It's just so incredibly 
impressive. And um, Euro Kahneman, thank you so much for this request and the support of the channel. It just, yeah, what can you say? Craig Blundell, one of the best. And I have an answer to the question. Whenever, as I said, whenever someone now asks me, hey, who's the best drummer you've ever seen? I can say Craig Blundell is the best drummer I've ever seen live. <sighs> it's just such an unfair and childish thing, I guess, for me to um, even mention or talk about because, you know, there's no best. This, this is not a competition. It's not a sport. You don't win at the drums, right? What I saw him do that night with Steve Hackett and, you know, videos like this, I just think, man, it doesn't, doesn't get much better than Craig Blundell. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember the original video link, as always, is in the description of the video. Please do go along, support Stephen Wilson, and check out Craig Blundell. Man, what a player. If you dig my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, and leaving a comment with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month. You get access to the blocked videos. Direct reaction requests that you want to guarantee gets on the channel, like Jörg Hunneman's pick here, that is via the PayPal link. And remember, you as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at Drumio. Maybe we'll see Cray Blundell over at Drumio one day. There it be on that. I don't know. Pick up the trial and have a look. Guys, until next time, take it easy. Keep chopping wood. Ciao.